Welcome, 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 welcome back to DS Tech Media. And we're going to be doing a particularly short video for you today. So, I opened up my Steam client on the Ubuntu 1804 workstation which I don't really game on this computer, but I opened up the client, which I haven't done so in a while, and it asked me if I wanted to participate in the software and hardware survey to Valve. And I went ahead and did. And I was given a log with my system uh, statistics. When it was over, I was uh, directed to a link where I could view the results overall for the survey. And I decided that I'd take a look and perhaps make a video about what I found because generally these surveys are a good way for us to get uh, statistics about Linux usage and whatnot. So first off, these are my statistics. Uh, this is a Dell Precision T3600 workstation. No touch input. CPU vendor is genuine Intel. And this is an Intel Xeon E5 1650. Top speed is 3800 megahertz. It's got 12 logical processors, 6 physical. And of course, I'm running Ubuntu 18.04.3, the long-term support version. This is kernel 4.15.58. I'm running the GNOME shell. This is a NVIDIA Quadro K2000, which is, I believe, the Kepler architecture. Total disk space was 2.91 terabytes, and largest free hard disk block is 575 gigs. So I just figured I'd share my specs, but mostly what this video is about is what we can find through the Steam website specs. If you go down here, you can look at combined statistics for Mac, Windows, and Linux, or you can specify Mac only, and Linux only, and Windows only. So right now I have it on all of them combined. And be surprised, surprise, most popular OS is Windows 10. Most people have four CPU cores. Most people have four gigs of VRAM. 1920 by 1080 is still the most common uh, desktop resolution. Most people have 250 to 499 gigs of space. Total hard disk space, commonly above one TB. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and switch to Linux. This is what we're really interested in. And I was a little surprised by these results here. So, the most popular operating system is Ubuntu 1804, which is what I'm running, except I'm on Hardware Enablement.3. And that is the most popular Linux distribution specified. Down here, the other category was actually the largest almost half 47.83 percent and the change for august by the way and i believe they do this monthly that's a 5.09 percent increase for other where ubuntu 1804.2 is the second most common lost a little more than that thought that was interesting and then in third place was Ubuntu 1904 which has only been out for a couple months now and that's 11.08 percent of the usage which is a 0.28 percent increase over last month I'm sure most of that jump was probably in April when it was released besides Ubuntu we've got the unknown 64-bit but Manjaro Linux has a 9.64% share. I'm really surprised at how many people are running Manjaro Linux and playing Steam. So if we combine Ubuntu 1804.3 and 2 together, we'd be at about 23%. Most people are using 
16 gigs of RAM, which is right where I'm at. And with Linux users, you can pretty much expect them to have nicer computers if they're going to be gaming at least. Genuine Intel versus authentic AMD. Intel 75% to AMD's 24%, but that's up 2.57%. Most people are running the GTX 1080 with the Radeon RX 480 being in a close second place that was actually kind of surprising most people have two gigs of vram i also thought this was pretty interesting russian is the second most used language also a lot of people don't have very much free space on their hard drives 10 to 99 gig and most people have between 100 and 250 gig i would probably attribute that to dual boot i wanted to check the overall processor and gpu combined okay and here we can see with the combined statistics nvidia dominates all nine of the first position with the tenth position being the amd radeon rx 580 it was the 480 with linux but it's the 580 over most common card overall is the 1060 it's kind of a sweet spot so that makes sense but i really wanted to see the uh cpu statistic okay so here we go pc processor by manufacturer and this is just windows i wanted to see overall i guess if you add mac in it tilts it OS version, 96.20% is Windows, 3% OS X, and less than 1% is Linux. Wow. It's 19.2% AMD, and 80.8% Intel, and that's overall. And of course, you can figure in there that all of the Mac models are Intel. Yeah, so anyway, I, I just wanted to share uh, my findings there. Figured I'd do a quick video and take a break from my major project that I'm working on. If you don't know, I am putting together a guide to producing music with Linux. And it aims to be the or I aim for it to be the definitive guide to audio production and recording using Linux and we're gonna get into literally everything from the basics and getting started which means installing Jack configuring Jack explaining Jack we're gonna look at patched custom kernels which are particularly suitable for reducing latency for real-time audio work so the real-time kernel the preemptive kernel and the low latency kernels there's four different variants all together i'm going to be looking at the distros that come pre-configured for audio production such as Ubuntu Studio and AV Linux and we're gonna look at all the major DAWs for Linux so LMMS the Linux Multimedia Studio Reaper I'll probably test out Bitwig Studio definitely be demoing our door and Harrison Mixbus which is the trial versions included in AV Linux so we'll be we'll be demoing that and also some lesser known ones such as Traction, which is a free proprietary DAW, and Renoise, which is... We're also going to be looking at the different plugins and just specific programs available for doing music work. We're going to be touching on you using MIDI and microphones and hardware interfaces, and we're even going to look at how to get your Windows and Mac OS uh, music and audio plugins and instruments installed in Linux so that you can use them if you were switching from a Mac OS or a Windows 
environment and wanted to try out producing music with Linux. And while we're on the topic, I figure I'll just show you a little kind of like a music collage. This is all stuff that I've uh, I've recorded over the past couple of years here. I also recently uh, reviewed Caden Live. Check that out. So anyway, I'm just trying to do a short video. They say that consistency is key, and I am of course trying to always grow my viewer platform. Please remember you can find us at YouTube, BitChute, Library, and DTube slash Steemit. I also publish articles and updates to my blog on Steemit and Medium. We're on Minds.com, Gab.com. We occasionally do some live streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and DLive simultaneously. And if you want to know more about the gear I use, you can find my gear on Kit.com. As always, all the links will be in the description. Also, I would highly recommend that you try out the Brave web browser. It's based on Chrome, so all of your favorite Chrome extensions are available. However, it gives you increased speed and performance by blocking scripts, even JavaScript. It blocks all trackers and cookies, pays you for your attention in a cryptocurrency token called the BAT or basic attention token which is an ethereum 20 base token it's a utility token and it is also sold on the major exchanges if you do download brave and or want to download brave you can support me by downloading it through my referral link which is in the description as well that's https brave.com slash dst222 and you will be helping me out there if you're already a brave user and you want to contribute to ds tech media we are an official brave verified publisher so you can auto contribute or send us a tip in bat as always i uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one